What's going on people, it's Sammy Mong. We're back today with some more tips for you guys. Today's video is revolved around a few tips for Team Vanquish mode you can play in multiplayer. So this is just Team Deathmatch. So I'm just going to drop a few tips that I think are generally used and what could help you out. Not necessarily win the match, but will help you win a few matches anyway. And the first one is to be... Or to be is the first one is to not to pick low health characters so this is just a general rule of thumb okay you're playing team vanquish you want to have a fair amount of health so the characters i'm speaking about in general are the rose the sunflower the where is it the scientist and the imp so they all have 75 or 100 health meaning they're a lot weaker compared to the other characters and you can kill them a lot quicker now this doesn't take into account the fact you can get metal petal or like metal versions of the characters which give you more health and it doesn't give like take into account that these characters have certain abilities that are maybe not damaging but they're immobilizing so it immobilizes other character enemy characters for your team to then take them out so it's all sort of linked into each other but overall you want to try to avoid them for the pure fact that they do just have low health and if you're in a game of team vanquish where the aim is to kill as many people as you can you're going to be targeted like i know i go into a game of team vanquish if i'm plants and i see any imps or scientists on the enemy team i will target them for the pure fact that they just die quickly and they're harder to keep healed up because of their low health now moving on okay guys obviously you want to be sticking with the characters that are high damage in so keeping in mind that i usually play as an all-star 200 health a giant weapon that outputs a lot of damage crazy rate of fire you've got the corn with the same aspects 175 health or 100 and 25 what is the corn am i really I'm, i believe i'm really far oh, there you go 150 so it's still a fair amount of health and he's got a really fast fire rate and those are the two key things you're wanting for team vanquish if you've got a big amount of health so you're not dying quickly and you've got a fast fire rate so you're outputting damage as quickly as possible you're gonna be in a good standing within any match you play now the citron is particularly good for team vanquish just because he's got defensive abilities like the all-star so although it's all about damage your damage is generally going to come from your character so you're going to pick a character with a lot of health the citron all-star that has a lot of damage citron all-star chomper corn they all do insane amount of damage and you all have fast fire rate now the only way that the citron and the all-star sort of I don't know, beat this situation it's the fact they've got defensive abilities they've got the shield you've got your all-star stand and i'm trying to think of any other characters that have this and they don't you could take in the account of the trompers burrow ability but i see that as more an offensive ability so actually being able to neglect damage as well say you're under attack and you can actually absorb that damage making sure you're not dead is fantastic okay like you just want to make sure you're not dying and then because of this you've got defensive abilities high health high damage three key points that you need within the game now something you want to watch out for is every time you die in team vanquish you actually you, being able to uh was it being revived i was about to say being like I don't know, oh, what is it it's on soul gemmed on elder scrolls it's soul gemmed but yeah every time you die you can be revived and if you're revived you obviously take a point off the enemy's score this brings me to the point of the sunflower so the sunflower has not got much health it's the same with the scientist as well if we go on to the scientist look it's only got about a hundred yeah a hundred health it's not got much health same as the rose but you're able to revive people so you can play the game in two ways you can either go for the damage output with the big health characters or you can go for the sneaky heals and revive so i've gone into games as the sunflower and as the scientist and rather than going for just kills i go for just revive so i'm reviving anyone around me that dies stopping the enemy team from getting points and then just allowing your team to rack up the points especially if the enemy team doesn't have any healers or revivers on their team as their points just go down because you're reviving people your teams just go up because they're leaving people for dead i think it's just it's a useful like you either go for the kills with a big character or you go for the heals with the healing characters obviously you've got the low health to as a con to this but then you've got the abilities such as you've got a potted plant for the sunflower you've got your armored heal station for the scientists there's self-healing abilities there to keep you alive okay 
Alright guys, this brings me on to my last point. As I said, there's only a few general tips to help you out in the game mode. But my last point, besides either going for the kills or the heals and the big health characters, is actually mobility within the game. So if we go back to our character customization and have a look at all the characters and go through them one by one, you'll know that or you'll notice that some abilities are mobility wise, or <laughs> some abilities are mobility. Some abilities are more mobile than others. So if you go onto the imp, he has no mobile ability. Abilities. The heroic kick is a mobile ability. It gives you distance. Pirate has no mobile abilities. You've got the rocket jump and a rocket lead for the foot soldier, and it goes on and on from the roadie, um, the roadie, from the engineer's jackhammer all the way to the scientist teleport. And obviously, you've got the citron's ball. There's a few of them that have abilities that are actually able to close in on your target. So as I was saying earlier, I like to target people that are low health characters. This also works for people that have low mobility, so the Imp, in my eyes, is the weakest of characters for Team Vanquish. Not only does he have low health, but he doesn't really have a mobility skill that allows him to cover great distances at once. So if he's under attack, he either has to run for his life, or kill the pe person that's killing him, which 9 times out of 10 he's not going to be able to because he's only got a low amount of health. Whereas other characters, if you're under attack, you've got low health, you can fly away with the heroic um, kick or just jump. With the, um, um, what is it, foot soldier, you can jump up into high places and get to covered and you would not be able to get to with any other character. You can run away with the engineer and even with the all-star, you can use your sprint tackle to get behind defense a lot quicker than characters that can't, such as the pirate, such as the imp, and even in situations such as the hero, maybe he hasn't got his heroic kick ability on cool down, maybe he jumps too high, because even when you jump, you're in the air, you're still able to be shot at. That's why the Imp isn't really useful, because his jetpack doesn't cover great distances, and you're still within the zone, and you're just floating in the air, you're targetable, okay? And then with the plants, it's the same sort of aspect. You've got the Citron's ball to be able to roll away. You've got the Corn's backflip, this sort of ties in with the heroic kick. You're in the air and still targetable, even even though you are making or covering great distances. The pea shooter once again with his sprint ability, you can get up onto roofs and hide behind certain like rooftops that you just can't be targeted by and therefore you can't get killed and dro like just drop a team, uh, drop a point for your team. Like there's so many aspects in Team Vanquish that you have to consider, but then again it's such a simplistic game of you either kill the enemy or they kill you. So when it gets down to it, it is down to the core aspects of the game such as speed, health and the damage you're put output in. But guys, I hope that has helped you out and you've picked up a few sort of tips or ideas and inspirations for characters you can use and tactics you may take into Team Vanquish. If I have, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're social, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, if you want to see more Plants vs Zombies, be sure to hit that big, I was about to say big red ball looking at that. How embarrassing. Nah, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. But until next time, guys, thanks and I'll see you on the next video.